Hello guys, today I have a kind of little project slash investigation for you and actually for me because I'm doing it as, uh, as a shooting video. So we have here pretty much um, uh, a old drill and it's like the crappiest drill you can get, it's, it's actually quite broken uh, but it was doing its business before, before actually this thing died. So drill is uh, okay, drill, drill works, uh, drill driver. Um, but the battery pack is gone ski, so it doesn't hold the charge, doesn't charge it, doesn't anything. So I was wondering, uh, we don't really need that, if I can do something about this guy. So I have something in my mind and that would be actually to walk some uh, 18650s inside. So it says 18 volt, so 4 5 18650s probably would do the business. Well, it make it uh, for 5 probably will be a little bit too much, but 4 will definitely do the business, so 4 18650s. And I was wondering like how I can achieve it, but first of all I can take a look what's inside. According to this um, diagram or here, it, they have NICADs, and I guess those NICADs are like, look quite bad and disgusting right now, so let's take a look. Try to, try to quickly open it up. All right, I'll move, remove all screws and let's try to get in. Uh, it's kind of working. Oh, mamma mia! Well, that is obviously what I expected. This looks terrible. Terribly bad. Though, th there is nothing else here except those... Uh, how many? Uh, 13 NICADs. Uh, and obviously they are in really really rough shape so it's pretty much garbage so I need to somehow try to pull it out without damaging oh it's even more it's actually it's oh it's 15 and two over here inside this um, post post over here two so it's like 13 over here and two over there so 15 in total I don't know what's the voltage is like 1.2 1.2 by 15 oh no it doesn't yeah it'll be around 18 volts you know curious actually if there's any sort of voltage on this thing because I tried to charge it didn't get anything now let me see let me see I was just I just replaced battery inside um, in the multimeter and see what it reads seriously it's nothing <laughs> well that's that's yeah well you see it's definitely garbage okay knowing now 100% that this is garbage I will try somehow to pull this whole contraption out and it is out oh here we are it's not just maybe battery is still okay but it's so crazy oxidated like it's oxidation is everywhere then pretty much yeah i'm just like okay so what are you gonna do you're just gonna chop it off over here uh, like over here i guess and try to salvage this um terminal everything else is gonna go to Dumpster, well, I'm not gonna go to dumpster, I'm gonna recycle it, for, uh, uh, return it to Home Depot or something. Have like a whole box of batteries I need to return to Home Depot. I guess that's gonna be good. Um, uh, oh, let's grab like more or less okay looking battery, just measure voltage on it. Just, you know, may, maybe they're still alive, maybe not. Oops, I gotta remove those. I don't need these. Okay, so let's put the multimeter back and let's just see what's going on with the batteries. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, they, that, I think it's actually self. There's nothing here, like nothing. Yeah, okay, well, another option, it's somewhere short circuit uh, in, a, in, a, in down, uh, down here and it, it, that's why it reads nothing, but I'm not going to play with it. This is, this is pretty much that. Actually, it's not just that, it's long that. So what really got me thinking, that's once I actually saw something very interesting on Thingiverse, I saw uh, this uh, 
customizable and printable uh, tray for um, 18650s and I was kind of thinking how can I turn uh, turn this scrap into something which can be um, used with 18650 so for example I have like sealed packaged batteries like I'm gonna just illustrate so this is a nice case which can be completely customized you can print like you know five three four whatever like ten of these cells so this one is five it's actually a little bit too much for this particular um, drill but like for example I would use four you now like these and I have two more imagine like and it'll be a little bit smaller because it's going to be using four, just four batteries and somehow incorporate it inside of this thing. Just like, imagine just like that. And four would fit very nicely because like imagine without this one, it will be enough space to actually keep this thing on. Potentially I can just reprint the whole bottom thing, whole bottom thing and just uh, um, incorporate this sort of holder right in here well somehow okay just uh, yeah just incorporate it just right in here uh, like four batteries depending on what orientation I can really fit them in As a, technically there is so much vertical space over here that I can just I don't know like make them like two two by two or actually in a, in a you know like this staggered configuration there's a lot of space uh, and uh, I think that's going to be interesting project so let me run to my computer design something and I will be back all right guys I am back with something I already 3d printed so I decided to actually 3D print this kind of trays for um, for 18650s and all right I am back and with the power of a video editing uh, one day of fiddling is cut into a few minutes. Anyways, so I do have uh, I printed this kind of um, tr t two trays for batteries I needed five batteries but because I couldn't fit uh, all this contraption inside the uh, like I'll show you so here's five and obviously this five not gonna fit in here it's just not enough space so I decided to break it into three and two and in this case it's just gonna fit really snug right over here you see it's gonna be perfect okay it's gonna run 5c and it's gonna definitely be more than sufficient to run this drill okay so what do we have here I found this um, a model on Thingiverse and in this particular case you can use you can print it and then you use like a solid core wire in order to uh, wire your contacts for the batteries so already starting doing that and for these kind of this task I actually decided to use uh, some chunks of um, STP or twisted pair from my network cable I couldn't find nice um, cables but this seems this seems to be uh, good and I also decided to double them up just in case uh, I don't know if the really current the current this thing consumes but just to double up um, uh, on current capabilities so I think that's going to be sufficient contact wise I think it does pretty good contact over here and I will continue to wire all this together put um, 18650s actually I have two more which are charging at the moment um, and measure the voltage and actually try to hook up to this to this drill over here and to see if it actually works well it should work otherwise this is all um, this whole project <laughs> useless all right uh, to help me with my task I have a few more tools so um, snippers uh, um, long nose pliers just to help to thread uh, wires through those little holes like this kind of holes you see over here and uh, wire strippers this is not strictly necessary the wire strippers but that make job so much easier anyways um, I will do it uh, in front of the camera but I will uh, speed up the process or even do some cuts all right so let's continue wiring this up
Okay, let's clean up the bench a bit. Okay, so now there is um, another part. So now we have to come up with some idea how to mount this thing back in. So before it used to be a battery actually was pushing all this um, in. Now there is nothing. So there are two ways I can do it. Solder some wires and just glue this thing in. That's I guess one of the easiest options. Um, it'll be there forever. I think I'll do that. It's just uh, I think does uh, I think it works much of a hustle. Okay, be back. So next step. So I already, as you see, I already soldered leads uh, to the uh, this this kind of contact. I already put I, and I pulled also one battery just to make sure um, it's not gonna short anything. So now I would like to insert. By the way, the polarity, I think, doesn't really matter in this guy because it can rotate either way. So, left to right would be just changed if I will mess up with polarities. So, it's no big deal. There is no, I don't, I don't think there is any kind of fancy electronics in this thing. Just straight to, no LEDs, like nothing. So, I have to kind of solder this thingy. Well, I should have probably made longer leads in retrospect. Or come up with some sort of connector in between but uh, I don't have anything handy so I'm just gonna you know do it like this uh, longer list probably will be a good idea maybe just as long as full length of this guy so let's use my favorite Gorilla Glue open it up oh my god it started all crystallizing or whatever it is here Yeah, it doesn't look nice, but we're gonna glue this thing over here. Because, by the way, this material is PLA and I already glued it many times. PLA, I mean. And it was working. So yeah, that's gonna be staying like this. I'm gonna put some glue over here. I'm not sure how we're gonna retain that thing up there, but let's try. Mm, that's a bit cumbersome. In retrospect, I should have done probably uh, opposite. Put this thing in and then just... And then attach it to the battery. But I was so keen. But I was super keen to get it going, so I just was impatient. Okay, I put it all together and I uh, used the rubber band to secure batteries together and I put also a glue in the bottom. So now I'm gonna let it sit for a few hours and then we'll see how it actually works or not. Alrighty, after a few hours, looks like glue all set and we can give it a try let's remove this rubber thingy and put the battery okay so if this what do you have minus Let's, let's check the voltage.
20 volts. All right. That's promising. 20 volts and curious what's the current, but let's. Okay, so now we have to plop this in here, just like this. Okay, it's supposed to fit. Oh, okay, no. First I gonna put, let's, let's check the voltage. That's promising. 20 volts and curious what's the current, but let's. Okay, so now we have to plop this in here, just like this. Okay, it's supposed to fit. Also have to put these things back. to go like this those are springs okay now this contraption is supposed to slide in looks like the battery kind of spread thing slightly and now it's not gonna fit no it does go in okay so now you see okay I'll just put that hmm looks we have a bit of a problem so battery is kind of increased size of this box and now everything doesn't really fit so I have to kind of jam it because I don't wanna it kind of like this now it's all fit put the screws back and now the moment of truth uh oh and it doesn't work I'll double check our polarity and uh, okay I quickly got in and uh, swap out the leads on the battery on the battery pack I put with the one I put uh, made and put inside and check it out Looks like polarity matters because looks like this guy has a variable um, speed control and I didn't know that because I never had this drill operate. I thought it's just pretty dumbass like uh, straight to the motor um, wires but no it apparently has some little bit more electronics than I expected so obviously for this variable speed you have to have um, a little bit more, at least, at least, uh, 
some kind of MOSFET in order to actually drive that thing. Um, I will sh gonna, I'm going to share the source of this uh, very nice um, uh, battery pack uh, compartments and you can actually do um, or replicate this project for yourself. The only problem is that as far as I know a um, bunch of different cheap uh, drill drills would have different battery packs so just this has happened to be like the one uh, I have is this drill um, and it's like super no-name brand him no clue uh, who, who manufactured it no clue was the battery pack kind of name and type so like you may have completely different battery pack and it might not be compatible but yeah so this is success and now I have working um, drill driver thank you guys for watching see you next time